Hello again, this is David Ward with another Blender Cookie tutorial tip. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick uh, a, an, an awesome little little thing if your character has clothes or something like that that's going to cover up part of his mesh, maybe armor or something. It's called a mask function, uh, the mask modifier. It's a pretty cool little thing. So um, if you remember with our alien here, um, we had a, a spacesuit that we made. Actually, I think this is the high-res version. You know, let's go ahead and delete that high-res version. That's probably why my file size is so big. Anyways, turn that back on. Um, so let's go ahead and apply this uh, this armature to our uh, spacesuit here. Control P, and let's use the automatic weights. There we go. So it looks fine here, but what if he moves? Let's try to get an example here. If he moves a little too far, a certain way. Okay, here we go. Here's an example. See, he bent down and his belly here came through his clothes. We don't need that. That's odd. Anyways, good way to fix that. Um, go into your, your model. Go into edit mode. And uh, deselect everything. But let's select all of these vertices that are going to be under his clothes. All the way down, so is that about right? Let's make it even. Let's make sure we get everything about the way we need to. And actually, it's a good good idea to have some fall off here, because you know the cuff of his his sleeve is going to be about right here. And so if I hide these vertices, it's going to cut it off down to the very the very bottom of his wrist. So let's go ahead and deselect those. And oops, deselect those. And same thing with his uh, neck. Just like that. You know what? Let's go ahead and do one more level here. Okay. And how's his legs look? Let's go ahead and deselect these guys. Okay. So now we've got these vertices selected. Let's uh, turn this into a, um, a vertex group. So let's see, where is that at? Vertex group, right here. Gonna let me make a new one. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we just need to add a new vertex group. So you go right here to Object Data, and it'll have your vertex groups listed right here. Just hit the little plus sign, and it'll make a new one and name it Group. But let's rename it, uh, say, Clothes. Okay, so now we can tab back into uh, into uh, the regular object mode, and now we go over to the little uh, wrench thing here for modifiers. Let's go ahead and collapse those guys. Add a modifier, and it's going to be mask. And we want to say vertex group is going to be, scroll down here, it's probably at the very bottom. There it is, close, at the very bottom like I said. And uh, what, it, what it does first is uh, it masks everything but the uh, the ver vertices we selected. So we need to invert. So now, it's still showing it, isn't it? Okay, I don't think I applied these to that. A sign. There we go. Now, you can see the belly's gone now. So if we hide the clothes, you can see that that vertex group is now hidden because of that mask. It's masking it off, so now anywhere he moves, his, his skin will not go through his clothing items. So, like I said, pretty cool little little uh, uh, little feature. So, anyways, just thought I'd show you that real quick. Um, use it to uh, your discretion. Thanks for watching.